really matters. I, I want to so speak this morning that some of you are persuaded about that constellation of truth. A great holy God created this world, and if we believe Him, we can have eternal life. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, is he a liar or the truth? Historical figure or the Messiah of the Jews? The lion, the lamb, the king, or just a side for you to choose? The guideline of proof against your agonistic views? Just what is he to you? Is he a brother or a foe? Which side of the fence you want? You know him well or you don't know? The topic of text is drawn like the letters on the scroll. The topic of interest from over 2,000 years ago. And it marinates today in the atheist soul. There is no God, how can that be when the world is so cold? Invalidated questions try to challenge his existence. There's imbalance in the system, relativism is their goal. All this postmodernism got them seeing through the walls. They say it don't exist just because they say it so. But I would beg to differ. Peter walked on water, the same Jesus that was there is gonna have been there tomorrow. In other words, he remains. What he said is what I'm saying. Those red letters will never change. And they will never find his remains But we're all sure to see him again Some of us fall short for not believing But just how sure can you be when The evidence of God comes from deep within And manifests outward in the world we live in His power is all sovereign And he can fill you with it if you just let him in So let the trust begin for those who are according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. For those who are according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. For the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace, because the mind set on the flesh is hostile toward God. For it does not subject itself to the law of God, for it is not even able to do so. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You don't have faith in the God you've never seen, and that would seem appropriate except for one thing. You can't see gravity, but you know you can't fly. There's a supernatural unforeseen to the natural eye. That's why there's so many contradictions. You're not working in faith when you're depending on your vision. How you plan to hear his voice when you're not even trying to listen? A belief is a choice. How are you making your decisions? How you claim you're trying to find him when you intentionally miss him? How you willfully deny him? Who granted you permission? I ask the atheist to try him like a sample in the kitchen. The hell will take you back if you so happen to find a misprint. But that'll never happen. I guarantee you 100%. He'll one eight your mind and turn you into a believing person how do i know he did it to mine i was filled with skepticism now he's filled me with his spirit i see him clear i'm closer to him I'm trying to reel in those who don't know him live in a way that i pray will show him jesus christ is the way life is a vapor you can voluntarily drown but christ is the savior there's space for the atheist grace for the shaky saints belief for the unbeliever bridges for the missing links all it takes is present faith, crisis with us presently Try grabbing a hold on to him before you leave It's true that you're gonna leave Truth is abundantly given to those who will believe Will you believe? Is there a heaven? Is there a hell? Is there a holy God? If you ask that series of questions You will find a window opening on your mind I'm very, very desirous that you are enabled to see Christianity for what it is. Jesus Christ is an eternal being with God and equal with God. John 1, 1, second truth. That eternal Christ who was equal with and was God became man. This divine incarnate Son of God died for sins. 1 Corinthians 15, 3, He rose bodily from the grave. Do you have the Spirit of God in you? How you receive the Spirit of God, to receive Christ, is by listening to what I've said, this gospel, these truths, 